Hey guys, welcome to MB Tech Talker. My name's Matt. Yes, I know it's been a while. Yet again, I've been having some home lab issues. I put this short video together to show you the hardware I'm using to upgrade my lab server due to some performance problems I've been having whilst running my EVNG labs. So fingers crossed this will resolve it. If you like my content, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and don't forget that bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. So this is my Cisco UCS server that I'm using to do all my EVNG labs. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll realize that I haven't been uploading any content lately. And that's largely to the fact that I'm having some performance issues within EVNG. Now, I've done a couple of videos about this server, about how I installed it, how I installed ESXi and how I got EVNG running. Um, and I went through the hardware, what's installed in this, in this server. So if you're interested in that, go and take a look at that video. But what I've come up with is, well, hopefully a solution to resolve this performance. I think it's to do with EVNG being installed in ESXi. Um, so essentially that's nested virtualization. So virtualization within virtualization. And I think it's bottleneck and it's causing some performance issues. So I'm going to do a new fresh EVNG install um, directly onto bare metal. And to do that, I've used a PCIe um, adapter card to be able to install a Samsung one terabyte NVMe SSD. So it's got space for two M2s. I've only put one in there for the time being, but it's good to have that little bit of um, scalability. So if I need to add one at later date, I can. Um, that's just going to go directly into the PCIe slot um, underneath that, uh, in that riser there. So um, I got the adapter from Amazon uh, called Global Trends PCIe M2 adapter. Uh, and then I got the SSD from eBay. It was a good deal, actually. So I'm going to get that installed. It shouldn't be too tricky. Just take out that riser and pop that card in and then I'm going to do a fresh install of EVNG and hopefully that will solve my performance issues so I can start making some new content for you guys and get that uploaded soon. So yeah that was just a quick video to let you know what's been going on and uh, I haven't been lazy I've just been having issues um, running Panorama and the uh, Pano S firewalls. Um, it was just too slow and it was causing me problems when I was recording the content. So like I say, I hope hopefully this will resolve it um, and I'll let you know. Um, I'll get it installed, get it up and running and uh, hopefully I'll have some new content for you guys soon. So uh, watch this space and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. So that's it guys, I'm sure you know what to do, but if you don't, please hit that subscribe, smash that like button and click the bell notification. Don't forget you can see all of these topics on my website at www.mbtechtalker.com.